Hi Scorpio, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. Today we have your own reading. And today, Scorpio, this is basically a, a romantic love reading. And I'm saying that uh, because, uh, basically, uh, mostly because I'm using these cards <clears throat> that are all romantic oracle cards. Yeah, they are, except this one deck here. Uh, but let's see what they, they have to say here. And we have the Holy Stone. And we have the mirror. The mirror is uh, perception. And this uh, this card talks about somebody who understands what's going on using their perception. Uh, their perception is accurate using your intuition, things like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see what else we have. Didn't realize these cards uh, got shuffled and some of them are reversed. Can you believe this stuff? And so the Holy Stone, Scorpio, this talks about something that is protected and they're holding the stone here and the devils are kind of to the side of this kind of light that is emanating from the angel and the hand is holding a holy stone looks like a donut except uh, it doesn't have you know a lot of calories and uh, GMO sugar and all this kind of stuff right <laughs> so let's see what we have you guys and uh, some donuts are good right I'm not a donut person really though no <clears throat> They don't have a lot of good bakeries though either. They, you know, it's all this corporate bakery and that I'm not into, right? If you go to the supermarket, uh, they don't have good stuff in there, in my opinion. Let's get into this. You could be saying I don't care, right? <laughs> Let's see what we have for Scorpio. And Scorpio, we're gonna get a, we're gonna get a, uh, we're gonna get a storyline here because this is definitely uh, gonna show here. Maybe this is you who has your perception, or it's somebody else. Uh, so we don't know what's protected here, the Holy Stone, and we don't exactly know what the perception is, but this could easily be saying here uh, that somebody has the correct perception that something's being protected. And we see the phoenix here, right? The hearts are in the reverse, almost like something, you know, is not right, right? And here he is, the phoenix is is in the mirror, and the lady is, you know, she's holding up a wand, I believe, uh, but long story short, uh, and here's the the crystal ball at the top, right, at the top of the mirror. So we don't know if this perception, we're not sure exactly what it is, but it could be real simple here that somebody's uh, kind of hip to something that is being protected. Let's see what we have for Scorpio. For Scorpio, for Scorpio. They're afraid you'll say no. Let's see what we have for Scorpio. For Scorpio. They recognize the joy. Let's get another card for Scorpio. They're guarded. Let's see what else we have for Scorpio. Somebody's guarded here and they need to release someone. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe this is the perception that uh, somebody needs to release somebody. And somebody is kind of afraid somebody else will say no. There's joy here, right? Some, yeah. Let's see what we have. And remember, we see these cars. They're guarded, right? I mean, this could be you guarded, for sure. Let's see what we have for Scorpio. We're going to find out, really, when, once we uh, usually pull the, the tarot cards. Then we pull it all together. Let's see what we got for Scorpio. For Scorpio, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what we got. We have the girl with the snake. This is Empath, who kind of understands, right, what's going on. The Empath, exactly, intuitively, usually, or with their feelings. Same thing, mostly. And narcissist paradigm. It looks like there's two people here, right? Wow, empath, empath and narcissist paradigm. Or this is just kind of the situation. Uh, being charmed or used. Enable, enable, comma, boundaries. Maybe somebody enabled somebody here. This looks like it's turning into uh, a soap opera. But let's see what else we have here for Scorpio. Oh my goodness, Scorpio. Let's see what we got for you guys. Let's see what we got for Scorpio. And we have the coffin, and this is an ending, right, for sure. Bringing new beginnings, endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. You might be leaving somebody, Scorpio, but, you know, this could be you also. Uh, maybe you are in a situation that you understand that is protected, right? And, you know, but there's, here, there's another situation here. It looks like there's two situations. It does, right? Let's see what else we have for Scorpio. For Scorpio, somebody needs to be released, and somebody's guarded, and and we have the hammer, sabotage, rebuilding. All right, see, this looks like something's being sabotaged to rebuild. 
you maybe you're ending something with somebody and you're rebuilding something else and you could be saying this is protected you might you might understand that right uh, but somebody's afraid yeah that somebody's gonna say no here it does look like there's two situations and somebody's kind of rebuilding something and somebody's walking away yeah so let's see we have we're gonna use the romance angels I haven't used these cards in two years let's see what we have for Scorpio let's see what we have for Scorpio for Scorpio please we have give your relationship a chance work on your partnership so what else we have for Scorpio for Scorpio Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Let's see. Somebody here, like, is being, like, new, uh, in, encouraged or, or nurtured. Not nurtured. Uh, like, uh, encouraged is a better word. But kind of, like, being asked, kind of, to, like, have faith, right, in their relationship. Let's see what we have here. I'm not sure if this is rebuilding or somebody else, right? And keep an open mind. See, same type of thing. Your soul may, may differ from your usual type. And so, you know, these blurbs on the bottom, this can just mean keep an open mind. Your soulmate might not even be different. It could be somebody else, though. It really looks like there's three people here. It really does look like that. So let's get into the tarot, Scorpio, to find out. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we have for Scorpio. Let's see what we have. We're going to use these cards today. So we got let's get some shuffles in. Somebody's trusting their intuition though, that's for sure here. And uh mm -hmm. let's see what we have. For Scorpio. You might need to release somebody. Uh this just looks like it's a kind of a moving on and a rebuilding. It does. Let's see what we have for Scorpio, the Fool, Knight of Cups, Two of Cups, Four of Cups, OMG, and the Hierophant. So this is what's on your mind, Scorpio. You could be married to somebody, or maybe you want to marry somebody here. Mm -hmm. uh, and this, this Hierophant talks about somebody who may have a lot of faith in a situation, right? Somebody has faith in something here. Because they recognize the joy, possibly here, right? Somebody could have faith in somebody here. Uh, especially with this, you know, stay optimistic, keep an open mind, and give your relationship a chance, right? And when we see give your relationship a chance, Scorpio, it, it can mean like, this could be give any relationship here a chance. Like this is, you know, you have to figure out kind of, well, not figure out. You guys will know where you fit in in this reading. So we have the Seven of Pentacles. And here you are, most likely. And you could be looking at your money bush, right? You could. <laughs> Excuse me. Right next to the, the page of Pentacles. Mm hmm. You look like you're hoping to rebuild something here. So we have the Fool right away with the Knight of Cups. The Two of Cups is in the root. And so here you are, like taking a chance on somebody here. Uh, that's how it looks so far. Why is that Four of Cups? Or you are unhappy that somebody was doing this, right? Because here's the Four of Cups. Let's see why the Four of Cups is there uh, for, for Scorpio, please. And the lovers. You look like you're unhappy here either about a choice uh, in love or about a, a couple here. This could be you unhappy. It's, it's possible here. And this could be you rejecting somebody. This is also a card of rejection. This man is rejecting. He's sitting here at the tree rejecting the cup. That could be you doing that uh, because of... You might be rejecting somebody because you either want to move on with somebody else, possibly, or you are rejecting maybe your person because they're doing that. Why is that Four of Cups there for Scorpio? Let's see what we have. And we have the Six of Cups. There's somebody from the past here. Let's see what we have. What's on your mind? Four of Cups. Four of Wands, rather. And the Hierophant. You know, we have two fours here. In this reading, what's important to you right now is your foundation.
your relationship, your home, possibly a marriage. This is what is, you know, is important to you. What is foundational to you and fundamental, right? So let's see what else we have, what's on your mind. The Ten of Pentacles, definitely. This is all about your either relationship or marriage or somebody else's here. And uh, your money could be important here too. Let's see what else we have. We have the, the Four, the Ten, the Page, and the Seven already, right, in this, you know, and now, let's see what else we have. The Four of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, this this talks about you either making a really hard choice to hold on to somebody. Or, yeah, it can talk about somebody making a really hard choice, right? You or somebody else. Because I don't believe anybody's confused here with the Mirror card. The Perception card talks about somebody who is who understands they're told they're using their intuition right and she sees the phoenix in the mirror like she sees herself rising from the ashes right she's wearing a mask though which is kind of a trip almost like she's been hiding something and you know she's looking into the mirror here but it talks about somebody who is trusting their intuition because she sees her she sees the phoenix in the mirror like i see a new beginning Or, I see myself rising from the ashes. Let's see what we have here for Scorpio. Let's look at your concern, Two of Wands, Nine of Swords. Yeah, you could be worried here. This could take two ways. You could be choosing somebody and moving out of a union, or you're worried your, pers your person's doing this. Because this is all about a choice. We have the Two of Cups, the Seven of Cups, the Two of Wands. So there is a choice that's being made here, or that has been made. And somebody's afraid somebody's going to say no to something here. Yeah, let's see what we have. In the environment is the Knight of Wands, and we have the Ace of Swords. This is showing up uh, in your environment. This is a victory, and somebody's taking action to have victory. I feel like you're worried about this. The Two of Pentacles, you're going back and forth here. It looks like somebody's somebody is really taking a chance here. The Fool, the Knight of Cups, and the Two of Cups in the root. So somebody's doing this. I feel like it could be your person or you. You could be, it's possible. You could be like leaving somebody and worried like, is this the right, possibly is this the right choice? Uh, or I might lose a lot. Maybe you're going to lose money here because there's a lot of Pentacles now in this reading. Yeah, there is. <clears throat> mm -hmm. and you're worried here but here you are in, in the environment going back and forth here so either way you could be going back and forth should I, should I take action uh, or is my partner doing that but this nine of swords is a little bit unsettling here you're worried here sometimes that talks about being it depends like you know it can talk about somebody being overly worried like And you have the Page of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. OMG, yeah. Yeah, you're worried. You're going back and forth here. And you know, the flip side is, you know, you could there could be somebody you really value here. This Page of Pentacles talks about somebody who's valuing somebody. It can talk about a new start. Here he is holding up the pentacle, right? Sometimes this is uh, a messenger, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like what you're doing in this reading, this card kind of tells it all, Two of Pentacles. I feel like you have a perception, you understand, I feel like you do feel here that somebody could be protecting something else, or you're doing it. Only you guys will know this. If it's you moving on to be with somebody, Scorpio, I mean, you know, you swap the characters in the reading if you would like, of course, but if this is indeed you moving on to possibly be with somebody, you know, this could be a soulmate, right? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate, you know, could be different. Uh, there could be something kind of really going on in this reading that is like kind of life-changing for sure. Not kind of life-changing. And somebody could be kind of breaking a mold. What I mean by that is uh, you maybe you're with somebody and 
you might be walking away to be with somebody else from your past, Six of Cups, here, right? And so when you are doing that, you, people could be seeing you as, wow, the, the kind of, so breaking the traditions, because we have so much tradition here, the Hierophant, the Four of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles on your mind. Like, somebody could be here, like, just kind of breaking chains, and like, well, um, like kind of doing what, you know, what everybody else doesn't want you to do. Kind of like that. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Let's get another card here. Mm -hmm. This reading is almost over. Let's see what we have. Let's look at the root here where we have, we have the Fool, the Knight of Cups, and the Two of Cups. Let's see what we have. Eight of Swords. Yeah, you see? See, this, there's, now there's a lot of swords here. So, you know, you are worried about this. I feel like you feel like there's nothing you can do. And it can go either way. There's nothing. I, I, I have to go be with somebody from the past or my person is. It's either or in this reading. And somebody is thinking about a new beginning. Because as I said, here's, you know, the red-haired woman here with her, you know, uh, with the mirror. She's holding her wand. And she sees the phoenix in the mirror, as I said. And in the outcome, Scorpio, let's see, we have the seven of pentacles, nine of cups here. Yeah, your reading looks really like, here you are. This is a wish, right? Yeah, not a witch, a wish, of course. And you're wondering what's going to happen here. And so, you know, we have a lot of wondering here. I feel like somebody, you know, it's possible you're dealing with somebody who was walking away to be with somebody from their past. And you're not exactly sure, but you may know this. And, you know, that's what this mirror talks about. Somebody talks about somebody whose intuition is spot on. And Scorpio, you are the high priestess. Yeah, even if you don't maybe know that or, you know, not everybody knows this stuff. I mean, you are by birth. Yeah, the all-knowing by birth. And so, you know, most psychics are, many psychics are Scorpio, Pisces, and it could be cancer sometimes. It could be any sign, but there's a lot that are Scorpio and Pisces. Yeah. So, I mean, Scorpio is about the underworld, right? Things that are hidden and unknown. Mm hmm Planet of death and transformation, right? Pluto. So, yeah. Let's get one more card here for Scorpio. Let's see what we have for Scorpio. Five of swords, you see? Yeah. See, you're wondering here if somebody's sabotaging you. Five of swords or defeating your union for this nine of cups or to keep this you know you know the flip side of this is you're wondering here uh kind of what could happen maybe to your bank account or what could be ha what could happen if you defeat this person for a wish you want yeah the reading's really clear mm-hmm mm -hmm. and we have this girl with a snake you could have been you could feel fooled in this reading. You could have. Or your person feels fooled, definitely. We're going to end this reading, Scorpio. Yeah, good luck to you guys. And, uh, mm hmm. It's supposed to be a really good year for Scorpios. It is. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe.